The spring home buying season is just a few weeks away and home prices remain red hot since this time two years ago. The Sacramento area housing market has been one of the best in the nation for homeowners with all that equity built up, but one of the most competitive and frustrating for home buyers, especially first time home buyers. Here's the data. Sacramento County's median home price increased 16% in a year to $524,000 in January compared to the previous year. That's according to the latest data from California Association of Realtors. Placer County was up 15%, median home price $670,000. Joining us now to make sense of these jaw-dropping numbers is direct mortgage lender and real estate expert Brandon Hayfley, president and CEO of Catalyst Mortgage in Roseville. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Brandon. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So Sacramento is one of the top 10 most competitive housing markets in the nation, with two out of every three deals having multiple offers, multiple not meaning two or three, but sometimes 10 or 20 in some cases. That's right. according to Redfin. Anybody who's trying to buy a home right now, if you're a first-time home buyer, not an investor, wants to know, when's this going to slow down? Well, really, honestly, Ty, I don't think it's going to slow down. You know, with the data, the way that, that, that the numbers are, with housing starts being so low, we really have a lack of inventory. And so right now, people that are on the sidelines, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting for the market to pull back, really aren't going to see that happen. Yikes. That's not good news, but we'll get to the good news. No. Well, the good news, I mean, you really think about it, interest rates are going to be going up. So we're going to have some buyers come out of the market. And so really, if you are on the sidelines, now's the time to look at potentially getting into it. You know, really this next year, I'm predicting 8 to 12% minimum appreciation year wow. over year. Um, and really, if you think about it, even with rates going up and people coming out of the out of the housing market and trying to take a step back, you still have a lot of people moving from the Bay Area. You have people yep. moving all over to Sacramento because still it is one of the most affordable cities in California. Okay, so speaking about those cash offers you were kind of alluding to, one of every five buyers are investors who often buy with cash. They come in with these monster offers, oftentimes from the Bay Area. How yep. can first time home buyers compete in that sort of environment? Well, really, a first-time home buyer needs to get TBD approved, meaning you can compete same as cash if you go to a lender, any lender, bank, credit union, and actually get approved same as cash. So you can actually buy a, pro a property within 15 days and close, and you really want to go and get pre-approved, talk to a real estate agent in the area that you're looking in, whether it be Lincoln, whether it be Fair Oaks, whether it be Carmichael, and work with an agent in that specific area that knows that market. So then that way you have your best chance of getting an offer accepted. So paperwork before you actually go out and start looking at the homes. Got it. Okay. Absolutely. Competition, as you mentioned, is tough because supply is near record low. California's had this problem for decades, like more than 50 years. Do you see the supply and demand equation getting more evened out anytime soon? Or how many years would it take for us to get there? I mean, really, we're, we're talking several years, two to three. We're going to have to have a lot of housing starts happen. Um, we're going to have to see some things happen when it comes to affordability for, for first-time home buyers, down payment assistance. I just don't see it slowing down anytime soon. And really, even with interest rates getting there, you know, go up this next month, I'm predicting the Fed's going to raise rates a half to three quarters of a percent. With that increase, we're really just going to see maybe a few people back off, but still the housing market's going to stay strong in this area. Wow. Now, with all these factors that we just talked about, why do you still say buying could be the best option for a first-time home buyer? or a non-investment buyer. And you alluded to this, the fact that interest rates are going to be going up. And so, well, get us to the answer because it doesn't really make a lot of sense when you look at it at face value. You know, you have to remember, Sacramento and this, our region is still one of the most affordable cities in the region, right. in, in California. And so with, with affordability being so good, two out of every five homeowners or two out of every five households can actually still purchase. So when you have that ability and you have that affordability, it is a good time. And the simple fact is, wherever you're going to live in Sacramento, it's you're centrally located so you can turn yeah. a home into a rental in the future there's just a lot of options for people and i would say that um, even if you're on the sidelines take that uh, time get pre-approved and see what you can do and first time fha loans and, and and va program loans those are still actually happening in the area but you got to find a specialist and knows how to do those Absolutely. You know, you can go right now, purchase conventional, 3% down, 3.5% down for FHA. There are down payment there assistance programs available, Cal CalHAFA. There's a lot of options. So really, at the end of the day, it is a good time to buy. You just have to be patient. Yeah, and find a good, and find a good team. Exactly. Brandon Hayfley with Catalyst Mortgage. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, sir. 751 is your time. We'll get you out the door for a live look at Sacramento, one of the hottest real estate markets in the country. As we just mentioned, top 10. It's a beautiful day out there, cold day. We'll be right back with more news, weather, and traffic right after this.